Now, as you know about the pressure, we'll see that liquids also exert pressure. If you compare solids and liquids, we know that liquids have definite volume, but they do not have definite shape. They actually take the shape of the container. They take the shape of the container. So when we pour liquid into a container, we'll see that they will also exert pressure. And you know that what is the reason behind that exert pressure? Liquid consists of molecules, you know that. That in solids, the atoms or molecules, they are tightly packed. But in liquid, they are slightly away. So what happened that in liquid, these particles have spaces between them. So they can move around actually, they are in continuous motion. So when they are moving, they are colliding with each other and also with the walls of the container in which it is present. Suppose you have a container and you fill it, uh, fill it with liquid, you will see that it will exert pressure on the base also, it will exert pressure on the walls also. Why? Because the molecules are not at rest, they are constantly moving and when they are constantly moving, they are colliding with uh, themselves also and they are colliding with the wall of the container, uh, whether it is base or whether it is the side walls of the container. And that uh, collision actually with the wall of container is the cause of the pressure. So we can say that liquid exert pressure and if somebody is going to ask you about the reason that how you can show that liquid exert pressure, you are going to say that because the particles there have a space between them, they are constantly in motion. So when they are moving, they are colliding due to which they are exerting uh, pressure on the inner walls and also on the base and uh, so that means they are exerting pressure, they are exerting thrust. So this is what we were looking for. So now I am going to show you an activity where you will actually prove that liquid exert pressure. See I have a U-shaped tube, glass tube which is approximately 8 to 10 centimeter. What I have done is on the lower side I have fixed a stretchable rubber membrane. I have just, I have just put a stretchable rubber membrane. Now what I do is I just hold in my hand and I start to adding water into it. I start adding water into it. So we will see that uh, when we pour water into it that this rubber membrane start on becoming or you can say it start bulging. It starts bulging. And when we pour more amount of water, like when we increase the amount of water, we see that bulging definitely increase. So you know that the reason behind this bulging is just the liquid pressure. Otherwise, if the liquid won't exert pressure, then it would, won't have bulged out. But you can see that here when there is no liquid, there, there is no bulging, it is present as such as a stretched membrane. But when we pour liquid, it starts bulging and when we just increase the volume of liquid, the bulging also bulging is seen as more. So that means you can actually prove this by activity that liquid exert pressure. Now uh, like if you need to uh, measure that how liquid exert pressure then we have an instrument that is the manometer. We can actually uh, measure the pressure exerted by liquid by the instrument manometer. Now what does it consist of? It is a wooden uh, you can say a box, vertical box in which we have a tube this U shaped glass tube. This is U shaped glass tube. Now to like the tube ends till here is the tube this one. From this we have we have just attached a rubber pipe to it. We have just attached a rubber pipe and at the end of the rubber pipe we have attached a thistle funnel and at the mouth of thistle funnel this is a stretched rubber membrane and here we have got a scale in order to show uh, this thing the markings on this side and if you need to know something that what amount is there on this side also. So this we have. So now uh, this is actually a, a manometer which is made at home if you need to measure the liquid pressure. Now how it is going to operate just look at look, uh, look at the board. What we do is we fill this U tube with a colored water. Let's say I have filled this tube with red water, red liquid, not water actually, any red liquid. Let's say this is the red liquid. Let's say it's earlier the, earlier the amount on each side is the same. Now what I do is I just touch the stretch rubber membrane from this side. I just try to press it. 
So when I press the stretched membrane, it exert a pressure on the air which is trapped in this rubber pipe. So when I uh, touch the stretched rubber, rubber membrane, it push, it uh, exert a pressure on the air. In return, the all the air which is uh, just trapped, they exert the pressure. This air exert on it, 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 or further the pressure is exerted on the liquid because the air is common in in the passage. So when we stretch the rub, uh, rubber membrane, it exert pressure. Pressure is exerted on the air, and due to exertion of pressure in the, on the trapped air, it pushes the liquid down in one arm and up in, in other arm. So let's say this is this arm is A and this arm is B. So what as a result of uh, pressure exerted by trapped air? So the uh, liquid in A arm goes down and liquid in B arm goes up. And the difference uh, between the two the difference uh, like the difference in the level between the two two is actually the pressure exerted on the rubber membrane i think you got it that how we can know actually you have to put a liquid first the liquid will be initially um, same in the level will be same on both the arms now when you try to touch this rubber membrane it is going to exert pressure on the air trap and the, that air will make the liquid move down in a and increase in b and difference in the two will be recorded by the scale and that will be a pressure pressure that is exerted by the liquid. So I think it's clear that liquid always exert pressure and the reason behind and how, you, how with the activity by a stretched rubber membrane, how can you show and how you can make a manometer and how you can show that liquid exert pressure.